Hi, this is Juan from JuanTutors.com. Welcome to my totally free office hours. Uh, today we're working on the August 2016 New York Geometry Common Core Regents exam, problem number 24. If you want to access these exams anywhere in the world, go to nysedregents.org. Uh, click on the appropriate tabs and all the tests are freely available there. So here's the problem. Uh, in the diagram below, uh, uh, ABCD is a parallelogram. Uh, AB is extended through B to E and CE is drawn. So if CE is congruent to BE and the measure of angle D is equal to 112, what is the measure of angle E? So I highly recommend that you pause this problem, try it on your own and see if you can do it. And if you do get it, definitely hit the like button so, you, so that we know that you got it. Um, if you need a hint, uh, well, for process of elimination, first of all, we're looking for the angle E. And the hint that I gave you is that uh, they never draw a diagram extremely not drawn to scale. It's not the best hint ever, but that would mean that, like, for example, angle E is not a, probably not obtuse. It's probably not 112. Um, and that gives you a 1 in 3 chance of getting it right. But a better hint is this. A doable, actionable hint is this. Um, use everything that you've been given to write everything that you can write about this diagram, everything that you can measure about this diagram. And you might find that you, after you follow the pattern repeatedly, that you just get all the information that you can. Eventually, you'll find that E is included in the information that you can get. Uh, so pause the video if that's a good hint for you and try it now. Uh, this, but now we're going to do it ourselves and see if you get the same answer as we do. Um, and the measure of angle D is 112. And also, I know that ABCD is a parallelogram. It, parallelograms have tons of symmetry. Uh, angles are known. Angles are congruent. Known angles are, you know, uh, supplementary. Um, parallel lines are parallel, so you get alternate interior and alternate exterior angles. Um, a lot of situations, a lot of the information can be gleaned. So, for example, this angle measures 112. Angle D and angle A are supplementary. Angle D and angle A are supplementary. Okay? So, the measure of angle A is equal to 180 minus the measure of angle D, uh, which is equal to 180 minus 112. Uh, which is equal to, if you get your calculator out, 68. So this measures 68 degrees. Uh, and also A and B measure, a, a, angle A and angle A, B, C are supplementary. So this is 112. Uh, and, ang the measure, and angle D and angle D, C, B are supplementary. So this is 68. Okay, that's tons of information. But we can get more. For example, we can get the measure of angle B. Uh, angle CBE because this is a straight angle and straight angles are, are um, I'm sorry, linear pairs which is two angles which are adjacent and form a straight line are, are supplementary. So angle ABE and angle CB, I'm sorry, angle ABC, let's fix that typo, angle ABC and angle CBE are supplementary. because linear pairs are supplementary, so this is also 68. Okay, so what are we given here? That the measure of angle D is 112, uh, and what else? Uh, that CE is congruent to uh, BE. So those are two congruent sides. By the way, angles DCB and angle CBE are also alternate interior angles. So they're uh, also congruent. So anyway, so angle. So since these now, sorry uh, for distracting. So uh, side CE is congruent to BE, which makes triangle BCE an isosceles triangle, which means its base angles are are congruent. So this angle also measures 68. This angle and this angle are congruent, so those measure 68. So the measure of angle E. Uh, is equal to 180 
minus the, the measure of the two missing ang of the two got angles that we just got 68 because uh, and the, the sum of the three angle measures is 180 so minus 68 and now now I do use a calculator and I should get 44 I believe 180 minus 68 uh, minus 68 okay and I get 44 nice so uh, that's our answer. So if you were looking for the answer and that's it, then you definitely you could you know go on to the next video, hit the next button, and that'll go on to uh, and, uh, problem 25. But if you want an extra problem to practice, just like this one, we did create an extra problem. This diagram is is just a blown up version of the the diagram that we gave you. Uh, and see if you can get it on your own. Pause the video. See if you can get it on your own. So in the diagram below. A triangle A, B, I'm sorry, A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Points A, B, and E are collinear. Uh, a, B, and E are collinear, and C, E, excuse me, C, E is drawn. Okay. If angle D, C, B, so let's see, a parallelogram, so parallelogram, let's see, okay. So opposite angles of the parallelogram are congruent, uh, and adjacent, uh, Oh, I'm um, sorry. Um, angles that are next to each other in the parallelogram are, are uh, supplementary. So now let's see what we have here. If uh, tr angle DCB is congruent to triangle to angle BCE, uh, and then the measure of angle E is 40, uh, what is the measure of angle D? Wow. So this might seem so far away that. And we might we feel like we can't get anything at all. So that's that those two angles are congruent, right? And the measure of angle E is 40. And you might be saying to yourself, what can I possibly do here? Uh, there is something though that you can say. There's got to be something you can say, right? Okay. The hint that I'll give you is uh, well, if you're looking for an angle measure, uh, why not define a variable somewhere? We're looking for the measure of angle D, but right now D, I'm having trouble relating it to anything. So why do I na name these angles X? Why both of them X? Because they're congruent. X means the same thing. Maybe we can do something here. So uh, w if this m angle measures X, I know that C, uh, A, B, C, D is, uh, is a parallelogram. So as a result, the, this angle measures X and this angle measures 180 minus X and this angle measures 180 minus X and this is going to be a relevant angle to us. So now what can we do here? Uh, it might seem like still we have nothing to go by because there's no equation that we can write that allows us to solve for X. However, this angle is part of this triangle and we have as a description two of the three angles including in terms of x which is okay because if we get an equation in terms of x then we can solve an equation this angle measures uh, this angle CBE plus the measure of angle E plus the measure of angle ECB has to be 180 so this angle measures 180 minus x minus 40 this angle, uh, angle CBE, measures 180 minus X minus 40. And it might seem like this is hopeless at this point because now we have nothing, but we actually do have something here. This angle that we draw, this single angle is a straight angle which contains a linear pair, angle ABC and angle CBE, which form it which means that those two angles are supplementary. So the measure of angle ABC is what I'm saying, plus the measure of, of angle, measure of angle CBE is equal to 180. So we write those measures in, there's only one variable X, so we should be able to solve for X. So 180 minus X plus 180 minus X minus 40, uh, is equal to 180. Okay, so let's get this. So 360, 180 plus 180 is 360, minus 40 is 320, minus x minus x is minus 2x is equal to 180. So I know a lot of students like to have x with a, co a positive coefficient, so I'm going to add 2x to both sides. Um, you don't have to do that, you can subtract 320 and divide by negative 2, but we'll do it this way. So 320 equals 2x plus 180, subtract 180, subtract 180, and you get 
2x is equal to, well, 180, 320 minus 180 is 140. And you can use your calculator to verify that. Divide by 2, divide by 2, and you get x is equal to 70. Okay, remember, we're not trying to get x. We're trying to get the measure of angle uh, d. So we, But we did get x is 70. So this is 70. This is 70. So this is 70. And this is 180 minus 70, which is equal to 110. And this is also 180 minus 70 equals 110. So that's the measure. So that's the answer, 110 degrees. Now, if you got that, definitely hit the like button. Now, I do want to remind you of the hint that I gave students from day one. They always, almost always, in my 10 years or plus of grading geometry regions, I've only seen one diagram that was truly drawn completely out of scale. Here's the thing, angle D looks like a nice, uh, a, an, an obtuse angle. So I'm gonna guess, I would guess immediately if I had zero clue how to do this problem, I, hopefully you have a clue, but if I had zero, I would guess number one, number two are wrong. Uh, but anyway, uh, point is, any method that you can use to get answers is is definitely useful. Uh, listen, uh, we wanted to give you a tough problem to work on so you could see if you could use your tools, your geometry tools to get it. Uh, I believe in you. I know you can do it. You just keep working at it. Keep watching these videos. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video starting right now.